welcome back guys to another blueprint vending video youtube video and um, welcome to all the new subscribers it's been a little while since i last put up a youtube video i've been quite busy today we're on a mission we're on a journey today um, as you know from the title i don't have my car my car is getting um, a few bits done to it just to like um, keep it um, going so renewing some springs and some plugs or whatever it's called and as you know from my previous videos I actually sold my van because of the ULES charge so it wasn't ULES um, compatible or whatever you want to call it so today we're on a mission so obviously I can't leave my vending machines empty so I've decided what is the be best next best thing to do and it is to hire a van so that's what i'm on the way to do right now to pick up a van for hire and get my stuff done for today business as usual let's go So I've picked up the van as you can see and I've uh, collected all the stuff that I already had at home in my little warehouse and uh, now we go to the main warehouse the wholesaler to pick up all the stuff that we need and get to the first location so we can start filling the machines see you when we get there One of the things I really love about the wholesaler is the variety. So as you can see, we've got everything here. We've got our Red Bull, we've got our water, tropical juice. We've got the KA, the M&Ms, Haribo's, Doritos, McCoy's. Everything that we're going to need for today, we've got it. Now, if you want to find your own wholesaler, just go to Google, type in wholesale and then the name of the area you live in. Now it's time to get this stuff packed away. One done, let's go and get the other trolley. We are done. So I've left myself a nice little pathway to walk down. So I can grab the trolley or I could just open the side door and grab the trolley. All you got to do guys is get your phone out, download Tetris, play for a day or two and it will give you the skills to be able to do this. <laughs> I'm just joking but yeah, we're good to go. First location, here we come. So what I'm going to do now guys is go to the location that needs the most amount of products first so I can get the biggest job out of the way nice and quick be as quick as I can and then the other jobs will be more straightforward won't take up as much time as the first one so that I can get done in time ready for location number one
time for round two, same location, just get the last bits done and then we're on to the next location. Let's go. All ready, off we go to location number two. See you there. Hi mate. So that's location number two completed. And if you notice, there's no coins to collect in that location. And that's one of my best locations actually, but they literally do 99% of their purchases by card, by contactless, Apple Watch, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, whatever it is, but they very rarely use coins, but uh, that's just how it goes. Good to have a contactless card reader on your vending machines because you never know if they're gonna have money with them on the day or not. On to location number three. Super quick time, so we can get out of here before they close. All right, so we're back home. Let's see how much we actually collected. We've got the money bags here, so we can make it nice and easy to go and drop off to the bank afterwards. And we've got the coins that we picked up from the locations, the four locations today. Remember that one location didn't have many coins. That will be because most of the transactions are done contactless, just like the other locations. But let's see what we've got for all of these whoop, coins out here. And a few fall on the floor, I'll pick those up. I'm not gonna bore you with the normal speed, so I'm gonna speed this up and let's see what we've got at the end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start putting these uh, counted coins into the bags, into the money bags, so that I've got more space to stack the coins up on this side. So these bags, you can put them into different mixtures. So we've got 20 pounds in either a one pound coin or two pound coins. So we're gonna put these coins here into the bag to make 20 pounds and make some space. Put them here. Let's get 
All right, so let's see if we've got enough to make some more money bags. So we can do five pounds in five pence pieces or in 10 pence pieces. So we've got one, two, three, four, five of the 10 pence pieces, so five pounds. So that's all the counting done. And in total, we've got about 117 pounds and some change. Thank you so much to those that have made it to the end of this video. Don't miss the next one. I'll be showing you the brand new gym location that we've got. It's looking amazing. You don't want to miss it.